Hundreds of thousands of online entrepreneurs are using Thrive Teams to build their websites. And I can confidently say that you too can create your website in just a couple of hours, but only if you do these things first. Number one is to write your homepage headline first. Now, this might sound a bit backwards. Don't you first have to create your website in order to write your headline? Well, no, I don't think so. The reason that I believe you should start with writing your headline is because you want to make sure that you are crystal clear on who your website is for and why your website exists. And that is exactly what should be the headline of your website. Now, the goal with this headline is not to be clever. You just want to be very clear. So when you write this headline, you want to make sure that you explain who your website is for and what they will get from reading your website or from being on your website. So for example, if you give financial advice, your headline could look something like this website is for millennials who want to learn how to make better money investments. So this way, the people who arrive on your homepage know immediately whether they should continue reading, yes or no. And it will give you clarity about why your website exists and who you are actually targeting which then will inform a lot of further decisions on your website. The second thing you'll want to do is collect your visuals. When you create your website, it's not just text on a page. You will have visuals that you need in order to make your website look professional. If you make sure to have these images handy on your computer already, it will save you a ton of time while building your website. Now, which are the types of images that you will want to use? You'll want to make sure that you have a headshot because people want to know who's behind the website. So either for your about page or if this is a personal branding website, you'll want to put it even on your homepage. So you want to make sure that you have professional headshots. The second type of pictures or images that you'll want is images that can represent your service or your product. So depending on what that is, you'll need to make sure that these are realistic images and high quality. For the images related to your product or service, it's really better if you can have professional and original images rather than having to relay on stock photos. Because the problem with stock photos and especially the problem with free stock photos is that you will find this same image over and over and over again. So if you use one of those images to represent your service, it can actually erode trust. So if possible, use your own pictures. And then the third type of images that you'll want is complementary images. So you will use these images for the background, for example, or maybe um, to, to fill up some white space. So these are really images that you can use stock images for. And the idea is that you make sure that they fit within the general feel of your brand. Number three, before even touching your computer to start making your website, is to map out your website. Map out the different pages that are indispensable for the first version of your website. This will really allow you to then simply create those pages and make it almost like fill in the blanks. So these pages are pages like your about page, your contact page. Of course, you'll need some privacy and then terms and conditions. And then you might have other pages such as your service pages, uh, product pages, sales pages. And mapping this out will really allow you to already see how your website will work together. And it will also help you create the pages in the right order. Because for example, when you start creating a lead generation funnel and you realize that you need your landing page where people can sign up and then you need a confirmation page where people can download and that the landing page has to be linked to the confirmation page, you can actually start by creating the confirmation page and then create the landing page. So knowing how these different pages interconnect will just make it faster and easier to then set up those pages once you start building your website. Now, what you also want to do at this point is decide whether you want to have a blog or not and what the categories will be within your blog, because then you can start thinking about the pillar content for your blog 
and where they fit into that category. Now, if in the beginning you don't want to start by writing a blog, that is totally fine. That is completely up to you and you don't have to. But if you know that content marketing is something that you want to work on and that you will need to build your brand, then thinking about those categories and where the blog post fit in the categories is really, really helpful. For example, on the Thrive Teams website, our categories are build your site, build your funnel, build your email list build your business. And then we have case studies where we feature people who use our product and we have product updates. Now, anytime we publish a blog post, we know that it has to fit into one of these categories. And it also allows to make sure that you're regularly posting about different categories in your niche. And then last but not least, you also want to pick a conversion goal for each one of the pages that you map out on your structure. Now, what do I mean with that? Well, a conversion goal can be signing up to my email list. It can be contact me on my contact form. It could be buying my product. And you want to make sure that from the very beginning, you think about what that conversion goal is for each one of your pages, because you want to make sure that you only have one conversion goal per page. And it will also allow you to know whether you need a call to action button or whether you need an opt-in form on a certain page. In order to find the right conversion goal for each one of your pages, ask yourself, what do I want people to do after reading this page? So imagine your about page. What do I want people to do after reading my about page? Do I want them to check out my services? In which case the conversion goal would be a click to your sales page. Or do you want them to get on your email list? In which case the conversion goal would be a sign up. Thinking about this beforehand will then allow you to decide where you want to put that call to action button and whether or not you want that sign up form on your about page. Preparing these four things will really help you to avoid getting stuck when you are creating your website. Now, when you are ready to start creating that website, Take a look at the how to create a conversion focused website from scratch video. And you'll notice that once you have these things that I listed in this video, you will actually be able to create your website in just a few hours. Pinky promise. And if you are an online entrepreneur, then hit the subscribe button, hit that bell so that you get notified when we publish new videos.